Sipping on the comma, what a 211 in my mind Persuaded by the devil, gripping on my black plastic now Search if I will look dead, I can hit with murder in my soul Swinging bendy corners in the 67 L coat Pirates are some of the most dangerous yet commonly seen people in the world of One Piece. They spend their lives with total freedom, pretty much doing what they want all the time. Although every pirate operates differently, most do it while being part of a larger pirate crew. Interestingly, there are a few pirates who chose to operate alone or without getting into the technicalities of a pirate crew in the world of One Piece. Rare as it may be, some of them are extremely powerful even though they don't have a crew. Here are 9 One Piece pirates without any pirate crews. Edward Weevil. The self-proclaimed son of the great pirate Edward Newgate, Edward Weevil is someone who chooses to function alone. He roams around with his mother, Bakken, a pirate who was possibly a member of the Rocks Pirates, a crew that rules the seas in One Piece about 40 years prior to the current timeline. As mentioned by Kazaru, Weevil is an extremely powerful pirate who gives off shades of his father, his acts of piracy earned him the spot among the royal Shichibukai. Unfortunately for him, his status was revoked soon enough, and he found himself surrounded by marines once that happened. Silver's Rayleigh. Silver's Rayleigh was once a member of the Roger Pirates, and he served as the vice-captain of the crew. Rayleigh's power was such that he had earned the moniker of the Dark King, which just goes to show how influential he truly was. After the Roger Pirates disbanded, Rayleigh didn't engage in acts of piracy, for the most part. According to him, he quit being a pirate a long time ago. However, the Navy still considers him an active pirate, which is why he still has an active but unknown bounty. During the Sabodi Archipelago arc, Shaki mentioned that Rayleigh was 100 times stronger than all of the rookies. Bartholomew Kuma Bartholomew Kuma, also known as the Tyrant, was once a famous pirate who was known for his cruelty, as his epithet suggests. Like many others, Kuma chose to function alone as a pirate. Despite that, he was strong enough to deal with most incoming threats to him. Exactly why Kuma chose to function alone wasn't revealed to us, much of it possibly down to the fact that he was a member of the Revolutionary Army already. Right now, Kuma can barely be called a pirate, as he serves as one of the slaves of the Celestial Dragons at Mary Joise. Dory. Dory is one of the giants who hail from an island known as Elbaf in the world of One Piece. He was once a member of the giant warrior pirates and served as one of its two captains. His actions had earned him a massive bounty of 100 million berries a long time ago. Ever since his fight with Bragi began, he remains to be a pirate without a crew, but a pirate nonetheless. Dory might not be as strong as some of the others on this list, but he certainly is monstrous, whichever way you look at it. Bragi. If Dory makes our list of the pirates without a crew, it's a given that Bragi is going to be on it, as well. Just like Dory, Bragi was a captain of the giant warrior pirates. Ever since stepping foot on Little Garden, Bragi has been fighting against Dory to prove that he is superior to him. Bragi is an extremely powerful pirate, one who is powerful enough to kill Sea King in a single blow of his blunt weapon. In the future, he is more than likely to make another appearance, along with Dory. Crocodile Sir Crocodile was the main antagonist of the Alabasta Saga of One Piece, and he, too, was one of the Royal Shichibukai back then. Crocodile chose to function as a lone pirate, and he ran an organization known as Baroque Works. With the help of Nico Robin, he intended to find the Pluton, one of the ancient weapons, and then rule the world. In terms of power, Crocodile is ferocious, much of which is down to his usage of the Suna Suna no Mi. It has been hinted that Crocodile is an awakened devil fruit user, which makes him an even stronger than an average pirate. Right now, he's in the new world somewhere, with Mr. One right by his side. Dracul Mihawk. Also known as the strongest swordsman in the world, Dracul Mihawk is a ferocious beast when it comes to swordplay. He was once a rival of Shanks back in the day when both of them were young, but long before Shanks became one of the four emperors. Mihawk seems to travel alone in search of a challenge, and, ever since Shanks lost his arm, he found nothing but disappointment, until he ran into Zoro. His strength was such that he was offered a position among the Shichibukai at one point. 
Marco. Marco was once a member of the Whitebeard Pirates, and he served as the first division commander of the crew. After Whitebeard's death, Marco was powerful enough to lead the crew all by himself until the Payback War where Blackbeard completely defeated him. Since then, the crew split up and Marco is now without any crew members, but a pirate nonetheless. Although not confirmed, we're certain that Marco will most likely be involved in the Wano Country War where Luffy and the others are looking to clash against Kaido. In the eyes of the government, Marco is still a pirate. Whitebeard Pirates Remnant Like Marco, the other Whitebeard Pirates members are also without any crew, yet pirates still. The world government was reluctant in withdrawing the bounties placed on the heads of the Roger Pirates, and the same would likely be the case with the Whitebeard Pirates, as well. With Marco at Sphinx Island and Ace dead, there are likely 14 more division commanders who are somewhere in the world. They might show up at Wano Country, depending on what Oda decides to do with them.